why you fall in love for the immigration to be a immigration lawyer because uh, I mean deal with people is not something simple especially because you are dealing about uh, their, their future that's right so they come to you to tell exactly. you look I want to stay here in Australia I know that it's difficult you have to find a way yep. <laughs> I was accountant and I know to I know what does it mean deal with people. But yeah, right. So I mean, I've tried a few areas, you know, uh, of practice, and I saw that uh, you know, sort of uh, dealing, helping people in their future, especially maybe to stay here either temporary or permanently in Australia and build their dream and their challenges, just like I did. It brought me more satisfaction than staying in maybe other areas of law like criminal law or family law, where there's a lot of sort of a uh tragedies happening yeah and you gotta deal with that emotional don't get me wrong you know migration law is also challenging you yeah know, because you're dealing with families you're dealing with individuals who invest in themselves in you know staying in australia and you know their future and i could feel their pain because i went through and it gives me much more satisfaction than if i would be able to help and relate on the personal level with those people i actually can see that i'm helping people to build their life yeah. to build their future and like I said before all my sort of a past clients successful clients you know who got what they wanted either with their migration or businesses and you know uh, I could see the satisfaction and they're still coming back to me uh, as friends and uh, I feel sort of a more connected to them because I wasn't born here in Australia yeah. and I like to be around this sort of uh, crowd of individuals because the cultural integration it's also very interesting you know I love to learn about new cultures and this is the reason I always try to do seminars all over the world because I like this part of being me and at the same time I can actually help people you know that's what kicks me in that's what kicks my adrenaline and makes me work every night and answer clients at 12 o'clock a.m. and 1 o'clock a.m. because it's a different time zones and everything but I love it How did you feel a little bit anxious when when uh, you had to deal with the future of the people? Absolutely, that's a lot of responsibility. And I could feel it on, uh, you know, every single day when I try to explain things to people, not just as a lawyer. Yeah. Because even though I'm wearing a suit, I'm still that person who arrived in Australia. I still feel like a chef and I still do cook, you know, <laughs> so I'm a regular person as well as a lawyer. You are still Edward, <laughs> Edward still that was Edward. here in the mother that's said, right. what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yes, I'm still there. And at the same time, when I when I look at people who is coming to me, just like when I came to other migration agents who ran away from me, put it that way, would they steal those hopes and the, you know, worries and struggles. And I feel responsible, yeah. you know, I feel great responsibility and I try to do all my best and sometimes go beyond yeah. <laughs> to basically help them and advise them and make them not just uh, the right decision, make them a decision which will bring their happiness and satisfaction. Yeah. Because getting people visas, it's not just about the visas, yeah. it's about life commitment, it's, it's a choice, it's the future and they would have to choose the right path and if for some clients of mine who come into me with advice i would tell them yes they're eligible for any kind of visa well, it doesn't really matter you know there are so many visas available but is it a life choice would that be better to do something else and i'm happy to advise that not like any other lawyers who would say okay pay the money that's what i'm gonna <laughs> and do that's it. job is done see you later i don't know you i don't yeah, want to yeah. be like that yeah, and yeah, i've never yeah. been and because also maybe you are curious yeah. You are curious about the people, that's right. about their story, exactly. about their that, possibility. That, that's, possibility. Yeah, that fascinates me because a lot of people who come to me, they're not just coming to me for the visas. They're coming to me with the idea of their life, what they could do here in Australia, about the idea of setting up, opening businesses, you know, some unique opportunities they could bring from overseas, which will benefit obviously Australia, but it would benefit them as well. Yeah. So I'm always looking from the position of benefits for the client and then what they can do in terms of either stay here for short time or long time or, you know, build their businesses and their future elsewhere. You yeah. Know? So Actually, I think that uh, that maybe you you already found the, you already found the, your, your new challenge. So it's like a it's not, ongoing challenge. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. exactly. Because all the time, uh, the story about the people is different. Mm, yeah. It's like why not? Exactly. No, <laughs> all the time yeah, you so speak. Uh, we talk about change. You talk about the yeah. people that change their life. And for someone, we can say, ah, okay, it's the same story where the people that change with the person that is uh, start about his life. So he decided to change, to live abroad. But 
it's not like this because all no. the all the people is different every single person is different and every single person has its own start story and they're fascinating yeah and i'm also a lecturer as well at the uh, academy of entrepreneurs you know the the unique college in the city i'm i'm, I'm teaching the, uh, all those young entrepreneurs from all over the world you know what they can do how to build their business opportunities in australia and i could see that how many stories come through and how many ideas you can write a book i could write a book <laughs> yeah. that way, yes and then, and, with all the stories that it's, it's, so when i teach for example uh subjects at the at this uh college uh, i don't just being just a boring teacher yeah i have full attendance all the time you know so because i'm always relate to my past always relate to my story what i went through what failures actually all the through. trouble that you find in your life exactly. uh, now now I come to you yeah. to help you That's as right. a teacher, exactly. as an immigration exactly. lawyer. And a lot of people are so fascinated to actually come to me and say, tell me how you did this, how did you survive, what were you thinking when you were yeah, down on the ground, when you had no prospects It's for one the of the first questions when, uh, when the people know about your story, the first yeah. question that came in... Uh, how did you do? <laughs> how did you do? Why not? I like it. Why not? I like it.